Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. We are inside my car and we are in Old Town Orange. I've talked about this before. I came here when I was doing my challenge with Karen and I went to one of my favorite antique stores. But just so you guys kind of understand, Orange is a town just right up the street from where I live. What it's known for is this area called the Orange Circle, which is kind of historic, I guess like a little historic downtown. It was actually used in the movie That Thing You Do. I think they use this as the town in That Thing You Do. Remember that movie with Tom Hanks? Can't remember the other actors, Ethan Embry. I had a crush on him. The cool thing about this town is there are, I don't even know how many, there are just a ton of antique stores. You guys might have an area in your town that's like that where there's just like this one area that has a lot of antique stores and I love it and I've always loved coming here and I'll spend the whole day here and honestly you really could. You could just go from one store to the next and each one is a whole market. Usually they have like multiple levels with um, just everything like tons of little booths where you want to look at little jewelry and furniture and clothes and everything. So it's kind of one of my favorite places to come. I feel like often on my special days, like a birthday or a special date with my husband or something like that, I love to come here and just walk and spend the whole day here and grab some coffee and get lunch. I'm excited because today I am bringing you to one of my absolute favorite magical places here called Elsewhere Vintage. And I don't think I've ever done a video on this store, which is crazy because it's one of my favorites. I've done Insta stories and I did a blog post about it a long time ago where I took you guys shopping there. So you might remember it if you followed me for a long time. But today I'm doing a video and I'm bringing you inside my favorite magical vintage store here locally for me. I have such fun memories of this place. I remember I was here, gosh, I don't even know. Oh, the store has been almost, I think they're celebrating their 10 year anniversary this month actually. So that's really fun. And so I remember about 10 years ago, I was down here for some other reason. And I remember they're in a different location now, but I remember I saw this window and just a bunch of magical dresses hanging inside and there was no signage. It wasn't open yet. And I peeked in the window and I was like, what is this place? Because really up to that point, there wasn't a ton of just kind of magical vintage stores around. There was one down in Newport that I like to go to. And then there were the antique stores that you could find closed, but there was no really curated vintage shop near me. I remember I saw and looked in the window and I was like, oh my gosh, this looks amazing. And then I think I saw like Elsewhere Vintage coming soon. And so it was just a small shop at that point. And when it opened, I came and just was in heaven. Christine, who owns the shop, she's just really curated a beautiful selection of vintage. Everything is immaculate in incredible condition. It's hung up in a really incredible way. It's not, you know, stuffed and digging or anything like that. It's been one of my favorite places to come. I usually spend any birthday or Christmas, I come here, I pick out a ton of pieces, and then I let my husband know all the things I want, and then usually I get some surprises on my birthday and Christmas, and it includes a lot of my favorite things that I found. It truly is such a magical place for me. One magical piece that I can remember finding here was actually last year on my birthday. The owner of the shop has always had these really dreamy dresses that she hangs up on the ceiling, which I'm going to show you guys, or in this case. And they're just pristine, amazing, collectible vintage dresses. And I've always wanted a reason to buy one. They're not cheap, um, so I can't just, you know, buy them any time. But I've always wanted one. And last year on my birthday, I bought myself one for my birthday. And it's that orange dress with the golden butterflies on it. And it has that really incredible like really deep cut in the front. I think it's 60s and it's such a dreamy dress. Another piece that is from the shop is my big red poofy skirt that's quilted. I wore it um, to Fashion Week a long time ago and I still wear it every now and then, which is remind me I haven't worn it in a while and I need to pull it out. I have what I like to call my kind of tablecloth skirt that I got here and it has the ruffle and the flowers on it and it's another one of my favorites. I really feel like all the pieces I've ever found here are just really special pieces. They're not just kind of your standard stuff. So that's that's what's kind of amazing about Elsewhere is that you're really finding unique, special, pristine pieces and not just things that you can easily find in a thrift store. And for me, 
you know, I think everyone kind of has their idea of vintage. Either you shop vintage a lot and you kind of know how it works and you thrift and all of that. But basically for me, if you go thrifting, I'm I'm usually always just looking for vintage when I'm thrifting. And of course, you're you're spending, you know, $10 on it at a thrift store. Um, and I do thrifting so much that I know what I can find pretty easily in a thrift store. And then I know what I can't find. And so for me, shopping vintage is kind of my opportunity to find those extra special pieces that I know I can't find in a thrift store. And I'm willing to spend more money on it. To me, prices on vintage um, at a vintage shop, you have to think about this. One, the condition, the uniqueness, and for me, how easy it is to find in other places, the era that it's from, and then, you know, even just the overall design of it. Of course, if it's vintage, it's going to be more pricey. Um, so you kind of have to think about all of that. I think sometimes you go into a vintage shop and some people are like, oh, this is so expensive. And I don't think that at all. I feel like kind of a normal price in a vintage shop could be anywhere from, you know, 30 to 150. And then the pieces that are more expensive than that, that I would spend more on would be just those really like that dress I got. I think that was, you know, maybe $160 or something like that. So really incredible pieces I'm willing to spend a little bit more for, but kind of within that 30 to 150 range is standard in terms of vintage prices. I know, of course, vintage designers can be more expensive. And then I feel like certain areas, they charge a little bit more. I remember when I was in New York, some of the vintage shops I went to were uh, a little bit too much out of my price range, especially when I know if I can find it pretty easily in a thrift store. That's kind of my thoughts on vintage shops in general, just in terms of pricing. I think you should think about all of those things when you're looking at the price, not just think, oh, this is why this is used or this is secondhand. But it's not about that. It's about just the quality, the condition. You also have to think about they're curating the selection for you. They're doing the hard work and not you're not having to, you know, completely dig for it. So just think about all those different things. Yeah, so I'm so excited to take you guys in this shop. It, I really wish you could come with me because it is so magical. So let's go. It's raining today, so I'm not going to be able to film as much while I'm walking in. But once we get in the shop, I'll see you there. So she kind of sections off the shop with the era, which I love. And then you can, of course, also have, like I said, all of those amazing dresses that hang up really high. Let's see what I can find. I'm gonna start looking at this rack. I think this is really kind of cool. It's very thick and braided. What I like about it is it's more midi length, which is, I feel like makes it a little more unique. And it definitely goes along with the uh, homeland mm. fall trend. Another thing that Elsewhere Vintage, to me, is really special is that they have amazing accessories. So incredible bags, hats, shoes, all of it. Like this one. She has a Halloween section here at the store because Halloween is coming up really soon. But I always like Halloween costumes because they're usually things that I'd want to wear too. All these little kids clothes too. If only I had a daughter, they actually would be out of control. This is always one of my favorite sections because it's the long dresses. Some 
dreamy dresses. Oh my gosh. Okay, any other ones that we should just see? What's this? This one? Yeah, what's that one? Oh wow. Like very Jackie O. Oh my gosh, look at this bag. Oh, so cool. Channeling my inner 70s with this suit set. And then this top is really amazing. I actually really love this top. I love how fitted it is. I feel like I'm such a fan of these colors and I feel like the print could be fun for some print mixing. It's also just like a very unique print, which is kind of fun. Is so far my favorite thing I've tried on. I love the flowers, the colors. I feel like the colors are what make it so new, unique. This is maybe the dreamy dress I've always been wanting. But I've never found it so ethereal and bohemian and I want to be in a field with wild flowers and oh my gosh I love it you guys. It's so dreamy. This is the Halston. I'm in love, in love with this Halston, but I'm also in love with that last, this dress too. And they're not, um, this one is 86, and then this one is 64. And they're both pieces that I feel like I want really desperately. Decisions. I'm leaving my dreamy little heaven here in Elsewhere Vintage, and I got the Halston, and I got the incredible 70s bohemian wonder of a dress. My favorite vintage shop. I loved bringing you guys along. If you are local here in Orange County, you have to, or LA or San Diego, make a day of it. Come up here, get something delicious to eat, and then spend a glorious hour or two at Elsewhere. Try things on, tag Elsewhere then tag me if you do because I'd love to see if you go to the store. I'm so excited about those dresses. They're gonna be so much fun to wear. I just love a dreamy dress. I'm also thinking of hosting a party there. Maybe like a really fun dress up party where you guys get to come and hang out and we get to go shopping. Would you guys be into that? Because I think that could be amazing. So let me know in the comments if you are even close enough where you could drive to come and have a little bit of a dress up party and go shopping with me at Elsewhere Vintage. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and share it with all your friends, your family, strangers, whoever you want. Always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye!